18 months ago I did a review on this Becker Coolwear suit which is an undergarment worn under your leathers and 18 months on I've been asked time and time again how's it doing not only by people who bought one but by people who almost bought one but decided not to and these things are a rather amazing 25 pounds honestly they ought to be a hundred for what they're worth but rather than waffle on now I'm going to show you a link to the video next just follow on with this of what we did 18 months ago when it was 30 something degrees in here it's six degrees in here today absolutely freezing I'm wearing this in the winter under levers and stuff now I was wearing it in the summer as well it's a summer and winter garment for honestly no money it's an amazing piece of kit I just want to refresh that review for anybody who's coming out of hibernation coming out to ride their bike again after a winter off buying themselves a little bit of bike gear consider this have a look at the video from back 18 months ago. Morning everyone, welcome to Devil's Garage. Right, today I'm going to do a review. It's very, very rare. I don't do reviews because it's more about the garage for us. And what I wanted to do was to review something that I've been sent by a very good friend of mine. Now, I got a contact from Jim Payne. That's his username on his YouTube channel. I want you to check it out. Jim Payne is... Um, he signs himself on his tube as old fart on a motorbike, which I think that's what caught my attention because that's kind of me, that is, I love it. And Jim's uh, a, a clever sage, he does vlogging and I want you to look at his channel and read those things and, and to enjoy that, but something else Jim did, he sent me uh, an email and just said, look, back in the day I used to work as a, a knitwear technician or a knitting technician. Now that is not your nan with a degree, that is somebody who actually works in the textile industry and designs fabrics. It's a proper, proper career. Way before we started importing everything from China and India, all our clothing these days all comes from the Far East, but mostly, pretty much, back in the day it was made in Britain. We had a massive textile industry. In fact, go back to the Industrial Revolution, textile mills, all that sort of thing, it all came from here in the first place. And Jim was involved in that industry. He had some serious skills. He's moved on, he's doing other things now, so obviously he wanted to use his skills to his best advantage. And what he did was get involved in motorcycle wear. Now this particular item that Jim has designed, it's not just a garment. He just didn't just design the garment. What Jim's design is, it's his baby, it's his little brainchild, is the actual fabric. What Jim's done is he's designed a fabric that's a mixture of cotton and polyester. Well, you know, what's different about polycotton? We all know that, we have polycotton sheets on the bed. Exactly, we have polycotton. Polyester and cotton has been mixed for a long time. But what Jim's done is something different. He's used his skills, he's brain thought it, and he's come up with an idea of putting a layer of polyester inside a layer of cotton. That's as I understand it. I'm not gonna go into too much technical detail because I don't quite fully understand it. What I do know is that from what I read, it makes sense. Quite simply, polyester wicks the cold, the heat rather, away from your body. This is all because today we're going to go out, I'm going to try this out today. It's 31 degrees in here. Without his head. <laughs> his head fell off. It's 31 degrees in here, which is what, 84 uh, at the moment. And it's going to be about that today. And I've decided what I'm going to do is check this out. I don't believe in just promoting something because it's good. I only believe in promoting it if it works. If I say to you, I want you to check this out, I want you to buy one. When you get it, I want you to think, damn right, that works. He was right. Not load of rubbish. I'm not just bigging up my mates. I don't do that. If I say something, I want it to be real. I want it to work. So this today is a review. Uh, it's now 10 o'clock. We're going to meet the idiot collective at 11 o'clock at the usual place. And then we're going for a ride out on the bikes for the day. And I'm going to stick the levers on. It's going to be 80 degrees. One thing we all know about is when you put levers on in this weather, you get sticky and wet and clammy inside them because you sweat into the leather and it doesn't really go anywhere because leather is waterproof. Okay, cows don't leak, but yes, they do perspire. Whereas when once it's a, a skin on your, on your jacket, you're going to get clammy and wet inside it. No moisture passes through that. You might get vents and stuff, but that's really, they don't do it. They don't, it's pathetic. So I'm going to put four levers on today, which is a break from tradition. I don't really have a little bit of textile or just jeans or something in this weather, but it's going to be 85 degrees today. I'm going to wear full leathers and I'm going to put this inside. Jim's thinking in this is that the moisture comes away from your body through the through the polyester and it's stored in the cotton. That's the nucleus of what this is about. The cotton itself holds, apparently according to what Jim said, two to three times its own weight in moisture. So the cotton gets wet and it stays there, but the polyester sends it through. So the moisture goes through the polyester, away from your skin, is held off your skin, and then it stores in the cotton. 
that's bonded to the other side. Now that's not very different really to the way a, a baby's nappy works or diaper if you're in America. Quite simply, modern babies sanitary wear, the moisture touches the surface, there's a, a, a surface on there that wicks the stuff through and locks it away from the skin so it's not touching the skin. I've read some reviews, what people are saying is that they don't even feel wet or sweaty at all. Now I'm standing in this conservatory in the sunlight and I'm already sweating. So I'm gonna have a quick shower, I'm gonna cool down, I'm gonna put the suit on, and then we're gonna see whether it actually works. Okay, stick around, stay tuned. So the idea behind this is it's cool wear. Uh, just give us a label pen. There you go. Right, it's, it's marketed as Becca Cool Wear, which is the product itself and it's designed to keep you cool um, rather than warm but obviously it's a layer so when the cold weather comes it's going to be now already straight away it, I've got to say when I held this up it was too long it seemed quite tall I'm 5 foot 11 and uh, 80 kilos just under 13 stone whatever that means and that's a large now they seem to come in large, medium and small. Um, this size seems great because remember, although it's got a little bit of room, you are leant forward on your sports bike, you need to cater for your riding position. Um, and I'm quite impressed that already, actually, it just feels comfortable. Just, and I'm not saying it, I'm not going to make any statements today that are uh, not correct and true. Just putting straightforward levers on, straight over the top, I'm standing here in 84, 85 degrees temperature now. I'm warm, but obviously I'm not clammy. That's the point. You are going to be warm because you're in a hot environment, but by no means do I feel so clammy or sweaty. I know for a fact now, forehead sweating really, oh. it is hot. But I don't feel in any way uncomfortable. You know, like when you sort of move your knee, you get that sticky feeling that your levers are sticking to you inside. Not at all. It is pretty good, but we're going to see. We've got a pretty long day out. I'm just going to wear this as it is under the levers, and I'm going to test it to see exactly whether it's any good or not. Okay? Okay. Let's see how the day goes. Right, I've got to say that we've done about 10 miles now. It's uh, three quarters of an hour later. Now, I left home, and... Because I've been in the conservatory and it was about 85 degrees in there, I was sweltering, I really was. I was actually sweating into it quite profusely. And I thought, is it going to work or is it not? So we left the house. As I came out of the house, all the, the vents on the jacket, all the vents on the jacket sucked a cold area. And I was absolutely freezing. I actually felt physically cold, quite cold. Like I stood in a cold shower for about three minutes. Now, I know the soup was wet inside. I know this was moist. I know it was getting wet, and because I was sweating into it. As soon as about seven, eight miles had gone by, I started feeling warmer. And now, even under the arms, it's not wet at all. So I guess that was the drying process, the evaporation process, which is working. So it shows the initial outset. First ten miles, it's brilliant. Can't believe it. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. That's a cup of tea. Should we have a cup of tea? Cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Now, long day out with the collective, lots of stupidity, and the suit has done amazingly. It's been absolutely brilliant. It's been a hot day, it's clouded over now. Uh, haven't been wet or sweaty or uncomfortable all day long. It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, the traffic along this bit of road here, which we're looking at, this is constant, this is the A31, just starting to chuck it down the rain now, and all the others are coming along here in about the next two or three minutes. I'm going to get a camera out of the rain. There he goes. Fanny Pitstop pulling in. <laughs> Come on! And running in. Run! <laughs> I got Bell's keys. Can you get my keys out? <laughs> 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 my tank's going to be going. Oh no! Right, there we are, the end of a very long day. I've had this on now for about 10 hours with leathers over the top. I expected during the day to be hot and clammy and uncomfortable, but it has been nothing but just the same as a normal ambient day. 
This has been like wearing a t-shirt underneath your leathers, except with a difference. I've never felt wet or damp or sweaty in any way. We left this morning, uh, it was about 85 degrees, having spent time in here, getting it all on, and I expected to feel uh, hot and uncomfortable, but the, the way the cloth is meant to work, it wicks the moisture away and stores it in the cotton out layer. Now, not at any point have I felt moist or sweaty or anything today. This has just felt like a slightly thicker undergarment than you might normally wear. If you normally wear a t-shirt under your levers, then this is perhaps a little bit thicker than that. And obviously it's a one piece as well, which is great because it doesn't come untucked at any point. You know what it's like when you lean forward, your t-shirt comes up. So that gives it another, another dimension. It's a nice romper, a nice one piece and it works. It really, really works. Okay, so this is effectively a revisited video of the original review. It did work then, it still works now. Washed it 40 times, worn it 40 times, doesn't deteriorate, doesn't stretch, hasn't gone out of shape, and it's still comfortable and soft. It hasn't got that horrible bobbly feel on the inside that old gear has. And as I've said in the past, when you wash a t-shirt, they go shrink, they go wide, they don't often last very long. This, none of it, honest, brilliant. So you'll need to know where to get them from because they're not for sale in bike shops, they're not for sale anywhere you'll find on the high street. They're only available from Becca Coolware Direct, so there's a link underneath. Click on the link, open the website, and then you can do the rest for yourself. It really is easy. It makes it simplicity itself to buy just exactly the same we did with our t-shirts, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Get yourself one, get two, get three. Honestly, because you won't regret it. You really won't. Nobody I've ever spoke to who bought one from the original video has regretted it. They've all said they're brilliant. In fact, if you Google Becca Coolware, the reviews are just huge. Read it for yourself before you spend your money. Not much of it either. Okay, get on the link underneath, get yourself one ball. Take it easy, ride safe, see you next time.